Uh, what's this? What's I don't this know. Thing? It's a different look. Uh, yeah, I got us a new table and new chairs. Oh. Just, you know, I listen to you guys when you complain about stuff. These so. are chairs that don't slide? <laughs> they don't. They don't slide. They do move up and down There's if you no want to, like, come up or... I, I, I miss this. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you, actually, when you slide, they kind of ride up. They ride your undies up in your butt. Still slide. <laughs> Well, Charlie can slide on anything. I guess you put some sticky tape. I did. I chair. did grease my clothes. <laughs> Look at yeah. this. Is this the thing now? Yeah. A different thing? Well, you know what? We can do either thing. I, I like the tape. I like this. Okay. Yeah. I kind of like it. Yeah. It's that you can kind of lean. Set. You can lean into it. I've also got your headphones there. Do we... That's for when we watch oh, the episode. Okay, yeah. We can change if we want. Yeah, we can go back to the other chairs. We still have them. We can, we can do, do whatever what we, we want. want. We can do whatever we People want. People don't like change. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the podcast where Megan has to explain things three different times. One, because Charlie was singing uh, while she was explaining it the first time. Secondly, singing. between the two of us right now, and then Glenn's going to walk in, she's going to explain it again. But it only if Glenn asks. If Glenn you. doesn't ask, Megan doesn't necessarily have to offer the information. We'll find out. <laughs> when I sing, I don't listen. I'm glad you guys like the table. I like it. Yeah. That's a beautiful table. It's heavy. How'd it you get this heavy. in here? Pinochle. Um, three strong men oh. and a dolly. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It took I a just man. paid some men. You can just pay men to <laughs> you do can stuff just, for you. You can just pay men. <laughs> men don't do anything with money. You can always pay a man to lift. <laughs> yeah. You guys will always be useful for that. Well, as long well, as you can lift stuff. Why are you loving me? <laughs> and you can't pay me to lift shit. <laughs> Good morning. And he is Mr. America. So today I'd like to start, because I'm coming in hot today, with some structure for this podcast. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, okay. we, did, well, we did say that structure, we would just do a bunch of episodes and then the structure would just sort of emerge. emerge. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was going to be... More organic. More organic, yeah. <laughs> okay, you're, this, this, something's going to be forced some, upon us. Could we get some structure to how we find structure? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good yeah. Idea. Um, I was waiting for it to just emerge, but then I thought maybe after 46 episodes, I should maybe forcefully emerge it. Yeah. But you guys can resist it then and okay. not do it if you don't like the structure. We oh. could no but it. Yeah. No, you mean, we could no but. It. You mean this will be the structure moving forward? Could be. <clears throat> I'm just going to pitch some structure to the podcast. We have regular little segments. Sure. But the first one is just coming in hot, which is just what you guys do naturally anyway, which is just the first segment of the show would be who's coming in hot. We like it hot, hot, hot. That's a Buster Poindexter song. You know Buster Poindexter? He was in Campfire Story. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shoot scenes with him and he'd always he was say. He also the lead know, singer of the New York Dolls. He sure was. And he would start every take with like, Let's shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I like that's good. I like that. I'm not, I'm not going to use it, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to use it or ever do it <laughs> or say it. Or it do but... it or uh, How could understand get... <laughs> why you're saying it, but let's, I like it. And I like it a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. I like that, Meg. I'm uh, I'm coming in hot with a couple of things today. So yeah, what are you hot you about? Hot? I, I'm I'm yeah. I'm feeling quite content and sort of. Uh, well, I don't want to derail Matt, Meg's attempt at structure right now so i could we could we could talk about what i'm hot about or we could just go back no that's part of the structure that's, oh, that is the structure. that's what she said it's man. it's who's coming in the hottest go. you know we start with a, a hot I take saw, go what's hot i saw another event i think it's because of the heat uh in los angeles and really all over the world and also because i think people are still coming out of the pandemic and don't know how to act around other human beings so everybody's <laughs> acting like an animal <laughs> I saw another event. Um, I was not involved. Of um, although I thought I might have to be. Of, of uh, you were going to step in. Yeah, the hero complex. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was, <laughs> oh, it was like yeah. fire, Mr. Justice. I oh, I, and I even, <laughs> I even. It was happening Here behind it me. Comes Rob Justice. <laughs> <laughs> it was Don't let out justice. Hey, Justice. To you. People could spell that if that was your last name, Rob. Oh, justice. you could change people your name to Rob Justice, which would be a much better I name like than Rob McElhenney. I like that, Rob Justice. I like that. If you go out and ask <laughs> ten people if they could spell Justice, I'll bet you fifty percent can get it right. Yeah, oh God, do you think that's it? Walk around, bud. 
Have you been walking around recently? But, right, no, 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 I don't leave my house. Okay, I, yeah, yeah, I built we, a sort we, of a structure. That's not true. I saw you out and about just yeah, today. No, uh, there was, so there was a up? moment what's in up? which I was looking in my rear view mirror. Ah, fuck. And I came outside of myself and said, and I was like looking at it and I was like, okay, when, were you driving when forward? do I jump in? It was, we were, we were stopped. <laughs> I, what and is I was the like, am I going to get out and jump in? All right, what, what, what happened? What happened? <laughs> it was insane. I'm driving <laughs> along uh, Sunset Boulevard and um, I see this woman who's like right, she's a little ahead of me. She's in the right hand lane. Okay. I see her roll down her window and she very clearly takes her hand and has, it's like full of detritus. I don't know exactly what it is. She just, <laughs> Thank you for using she that just word. She just throws it out the window, right? For those who don't know what detritus it is. It is a very trash. good word. Trash. Yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a not fancy just word for trash. It's, it's, a, not, it's like, it's like knickknack trash. You know what I mean? It's it's less so like trash. You think of like banana peels and detritus is more like ah, the loose stuff that's in like the the like cup holder in your yes. door. Side I don't of know your what car. this screw goes to. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I'm yeah, just gonna. Yeah, that's well, that's detritus. what it looked it's like. It's like willy me. nilly trash. It happens. Yeah. So, it happens so fast. It wasn't the stuff that's not big enough for a thrift store. Yeah, like you know, like I look. All right, like, so you again, spy again, this I'm not, I'm certainly not condone it, but when you see somebody like flick a cigarette out of their car window, which of course in fire season is always dangerous and disgusting anyway, but at least you go, I, I guess I understand. Nobody wants to have an, a, a cigarette butt in their car, uh, but this woman, this woman just it, it, to Charlie's point, it looked like she just went down the side, like that little side pocket, and was just like, <laughs> like you know what, I'm you know sick what? of. I I'm don't want this being I'm there. sick of this being in the car. This shit. I need a place for my water bottle. It looked like there was like bits of plastic. It was sure. just a bunch of, that's why I used the word mm -hmm. detritus. It mm -hmm. just looked like a bunch of and shit. And she didn't look first to make sure you weren't around before she threw this out her car. Well, she was, she like, knew Rob <laughs> Justice was around. She wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, She'd yeah. think twice. Dun, dun, dun. That's right. Well, that's why That's why you need to start to garner a reputation throughout the city because then people will be aware that <laughs> if they throw detritus out the window, <laughs> Rob <laughs> Justice might be yeah, there. Yeah, you get a bumper sticker saying, I stopped for detritus. Yeah, you need <laughs> that. Like, I, yeah, that's right. And, and and you know, it's like it's like the beginning of the, the Michael Keaton Batman, the first uh, Tim Burton Batman. You know, he's like, 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 tell this? your friends about me. <laughs> oh, tell well, your friends said, about me. Because he's like holding the guy on the thing and he's like, Tell your friends yeah. about. Doesn't okay, he say so that? You, anyway, okay, sorry. Yeah, what you kind of car? What kind of car? So, what kind um, of a car are we talking about? Could have been about? a crime too. Could be like evidence she's trying to get rid of. But no, it was a, it was a, a nice car. It was, it was a nice car, and I spotted this. It was a white BMW. <laughs> so if any, so if there's a lady driving out on uh -huh. Sunset Boulevard in a white BMW, what, what year are we talking? Like, is a new one? No, it, was or a we... it was a nice car. It was a, it was a nice okay, car. Okay, okay. And of course, whenever I see people throwing things out the window, I'm always fascinated. Oh I, yeah, I, I I actually don't this feel is why as I'm much asking. anger. I, it's more fascination. Yeah, I don't get it. I reckon like that woman lives ostensibly in the city. I mean, she she most likely lives in the neighborhood that she just threw her shit. Yeah, into. like if it's a crappy car, you already don't like it. But at least you think, man, maybe their life circumstances are so bad they just can't take it anymore. And they're yeah, and like, they're just like the world fucked me, so right. fuck the world. Uh, and and I'm and I have compassion. I, it's still I don't. Uh, you, you can't excuse the behavior, but you have compassion for that. You say, if people just go, I don't give a shit. Like, oh, I think the world I, I think fucked I, me over and over and over again. I, I think just don't a key care. element to Rob Justice is compassion. I think I think <laughs> without compassion, Rob Justice is just Rob Fury. <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob Fury is a different guy. Rob Fury is a different Rob guy. Rob Vengeance. No. No. This is Rob Justice. <laughs> so uh, you're mad at this elitist no. Titus Chucker. No. Fascinated. <laughs> no, no. I, I don't even have a I don't even have a split second to be upset. Oh. Because, because. what happens is what I hear is like someone like fucking slams on the brakes. And then I look like out of the corner of my eye and the mirror, I see a Jeep that's behind her that like swerves, right? And and then honks on his horn. And then I look back and this guy's in a dead stop. And then there's cars behind him. And I thought I heard like did somebody like slam into the back of him? But I don't think that that's what happened because then we're continuing on. And then I realized like, if I, I, I pieced it together that whatever she threw out, he like swerved to miss because oh, so he didn't want to hit it. You're looking at this in your rear view mirror, correct? Yeah, yeah like it's all yeah. happening very fast, but she speeds up. What now color she's was the Jeep? A, she's ahead of me, like br tannish brown. Mm. And <laughs> I, just, I, don't, I don't know I'm if that matters. I'm trying to get a full it picture here. That that at all. I was just thinking like it was a white Jeep and then you're like that detritus is going to really show on my car if it hits mm -hmm. it, you know, but it's already a brown Jeep. So yeah, I so moved to get care. out of the it's way. It's also of a some, Jeep. 
It's yeah, a jeep. Right. You, you plow right through detritus. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, what's the point <laughs> of having yeah. a jeep? That's the fact that he swerved at all is, is, yeah, is, is absurd. I need to have a conversation with him about why he Well, my his guess jeep. is, uh, based on how quickly it happened, uh, he might just not know what was happening. There was just like a bunch of Are we things. We're talking about a Wrangler, like top a, down? A Jeep, like, a Jeep okay, Wrangler, yeah. So. And, and I, I I learned very quickly that the top was down, the windows were down, everything oh. was down. Okay, so that detritus could be getting in and hitting this guy Talking in the airborne face. detritus. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> then I, then we, it, <laughs> Right? What was the height this was thrown at? Was it a low chuck or was it tossed? It was up even in the sky? weirder. Like, is it going to drift gonna over the story. top of that range? It was even weirder because when I saw it, like, and this leads me to believe that maybe there was food involved because she threw it out. And then oh, as yeah. she, as I, and I was watching this, like, I can't believe that that just happened. I watched her come in and she was, and she rolled up the wind. The window was going up mm -hmm. on one side. She made it be, maybe it was on her right side that she could put the window up. And I watched her do like this, like she was wiping her hands off. Like, oh. like get that out of my car. Like greasy <laughs> French fries. Yeah, or yeah. Something. Or yeah. Uh, like a peanut. And this Wrangler guy could have an allergy. So this is a life <laughs> and death situation. Right. He's, okay. he's swerving. To me. So, a peanut hits him in the yeah, face. Yeah, he's, he's fighting for his life. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm assuming yeah. it's a he. I don't know why. Oh yeah, brown ring. It's most definitely a he. So then the, the we we wind up stopping in traffic, and then this car just peels out the jeep peels because now he was at a dead stop. He peels towards us, and I'm like, oh man, this is gonna. But there's a part of me that's thinking, oh great, I don't. This I don't woman, have to dole This out woman's the about to get some justice, <laughs> but I don't know what he's gonna do. So he pulls sort of a up. We are her. all Rob Justice type situation. No, well, this would you know be what I mean? like Guy Fury. Yeah. Oh, this <laughs> is Guy Fury. Guy Fury. <laughs> this is Guy Fury. And he, I look he over. He's got a Fury. shaved head, and I'm like, okay, all, already someone with a shave. He's consciously making a, a choice to shave his head. Yeah. It could be that he's an actor playing a part. It could be <laughs> that he has cancer. It could be that he's just going bald, or it could be that this is a choice. He he wants to look a certain way. Right. He could see hair as detritus and just feel like he's got to get, get all detritus of it. out of my head. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The detritus of and the head. he gets really up close to her and just lays on the horn. Now I'm next to her and she's just like dead, like just hands on the 11 and two, just what staring age? forward. Can I guess? Yeah. 50s. Yeah, I'm picturing 50s, 60s. Yeah, early, early 50s. I feel like a person in their 20s in this day and age for the most part is like you can't do that but it's like once you hit a certain age i feel like you know you're either the type of person who has bettered themselves or you're or, the type of person who's like this is my world yeah or you suffered a lifetime of petty miseries and you just you know well but the petty miseries are, are at a certain point are your fault if you're driving around a, like 100%. a bmw and you're doing you know what mean, I mean? you like got a bmw man not to suggest yeah, it should be good. Yeah, should be not good. to suggest that she she doesn't have her fair amount of pain. However, it's pri it's privileged pain. Yeah, it's right, right. Which is a different kind of pain. Which is still uh, which is, we assume. Which still do, yes, meaning there could be a stolen man, a stolen car. I mean, we don't know. Like, it's really hard to pick. Well, she was going somewhere at what eight thirty in the morning. She was coming from the west side. Sure. There's only so many places you can. You're either living in Malibu or the Pacific Palisades or Brentwood or Santa Monica. You're right. doing okay. Now that does that mean that you don't you're not unhappy that you don't have pain in your life no of course not but there's no excuse for the throwing the trash out the window so what, what okay what so Wait, you're next to her i'm next and then the jeep her, is behind her behind her okay. and he's just like laying on the horn right and then and he's like yelling at her but she's pretending not to notice and i'm like okay like let's get out the popcorn because now i'm going to see what's happening then I love the idea of pretending not to notice. Just, oh, what, <laughs> what else do you do in that situation? Because God, the guy, we're, she's stuck in traffic. She, the guy could get out yeah, of the car. Who that's knows? right. So then the 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 light goes green and we pull up and I see he's trying to get behind me or next to me just to get next to her. Yeah. So uh, and this now we're in stop dead traffic. It's on sunset at rush hour. So eventually we come to another red and he gets right up next to her and he like pulls up next to her. And he honks on her horn, honks on the horn, and he's like, roll down your window, roll down your window. She's not rolling down her window. He spits onto her car, spits onto the car. And now okay. I'm like, oh shit. How did he launch his spit that far? That like, for, was he? Yeah. So over the passenger seat onto. The, oh, did he go the over Jeep, the passenger seat? Or remember, the Jeep left? is wide open. So I don't know <laughs> if, it went, right. if he went over the roll bar or through the roll oh. bar. I just saw him make a very clear spitting motion. So this guy's like, a good spitter. <laughs> Spit is like liquid that's a, detritus, that's a, right? Liquid detritus. It's the from detritus your mouth. of the body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you've got your top, if, uh, com if you're completely topless, car wise, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can you can launch it like a mortar. Yeah. 
I don't, I'm not sure if the expectorant actually hit the window or not. <laughs> I'm not sure if it actually yeah. if it actually made contact, but it who knows. He's and, already pretty aerodynamic uh, on account of the shaved head. <laughs> shaved so head. like yeah. it's just like a cannon here. Yeah, he's ready. Um, Maybe his hair blew off because he was driving around in the jeep. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think that. What? But that again, happened. maybe he has cancer, and yeah. he was on his way to get his chemotherapy, and he had mucus in his lungs. Sure. I don't. Who knows? And he yeah. needed to he needed to work that out. Right. These are all the things that Rob Justice is weighing up in his head. Absolutely. He's well, he's, he's, scales. Scales. he's got he's scales a great in his show. head in his brain. Traffic here. sucks as it yeah. is, and it's pretty interesting that you're like, yes. there's something interesting. But I, I'm also thinking, uh, I'm also thinking at this point now has has the scale, have the scales of justice flipped? <laughs> <laughs> at what point do you need to engage? At is what, what you're wondering. What, which, when do I get to get involved? Yeah, when does this, when does this become about Well, now you? I'm getting jealous. Now I feel jealous. I'm like, why do I, why do I only get to watch this? Why can't I be a part of it? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Right? So how can I insert myself into this to raise it from an eight to like an 11? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Like, let's yeah. just, let, where's let's, the, where's the showmanship here? Where's the opportunity to really escalate this yeah. into a dangerous situation? Right. <laughs> so, um, so that you can feel something. So that I can feel as though I'm important. Right. So I can make this about me <laughs> and not his spit or her detritus. Yes. Do you okay. still have the metal baseball bats in the back of your car? No, I, I there the was a, there was a thought. <laughs> there was a bats. thought. <laughs> I love the double. Who do you bash? I right? That's the question. It's like well, you I know I should bash someone with this bat. <laughs> like <laughs> Rob Justice. Uh, gets the Jeep. And there the are camera. no winners in this. Only losers. That's right. Yeah. So you might as well bash a couple loser nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Trash throwing, spit Trash tossing, throwing, spit chucking nerds. So I'm not sure if this guy's gonna get out of his car. Like she's terrified now, and now I'm thinking, well, yes, she deserves to be admonished and but not certainly not like physically harmed in any way but i don't know that he now i'm noticing he's got a seatbelt on so he's he's safe which is good but i'm thinking once that seatbelt comes off mm -hmm. he's going to get out of that car and we're just stopped in dead traffic and i'm just watching 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 and then luckily the light turns green and she just makes a right turn and just gets off the street. And I'm thinking he's either gonna follow her or he's gonna keep going down Sunset. And he kept going down Sunset, Did he? screaming at himself <laughs> the entire way. And then he like, you know when you're like upset and you, he just wanted to drive fast? He like found a turn lane in the middle of the road and just like zoomed down Sunset it, for no particular reason other than his rage. Now, if he had turned after her, would you have yes. had to go? Pursued. I, I definitely would have. Because he, he he looked like he was going to kill her. Well, this this lady, you know, threw her detritus on the wrong on the wrong cheap ring. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and and perhaps perhaps we'll think twice. I know that's time. the fucked up thing about human beings is that you want to believe that that people wouldn't do that in the first place, right? But she did it, and now the next time she goes down to that side pocket and put. put Picks up a bag of Vaseline and 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 uh, dog hair and pretzels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She won't throw it out because she'll go. You know what? There might be some psychopath behind me who might spit on my. Window. Isn't that interesting? I mean, that's that's a uh, you know as you as we struggle with the you know struggle with how to discipline our our children when they do something wrong. You know, in an ideal world, you want that woman to think, "I'm not going to throw this detritus out the window because it's the wrong thing to do. It's bad for the environment." I should just wait, find a trash can, or maybe even recycle some of these components. Uh, and, uh, you know, you want that to be her reason, not like the fear of like some psycho and a Jeep Wrangler beating her ass. But sometimes... Well, na natural consequences are a real thing. That's that's the thing with like parenting, right? You, you don't want to... You don't want to give punishment out. You want to... But you do want to instill natural consequences for behavior. But sometimes there aren't any. I know, but is, the, uh, is in this circumstance the natural consequence that somebody either like a cop might see you and write you a ticket which we all know is never going to happen or someone might come and bash you up i mean i, I don't know mm -hmm. who knows i mean can't we can't uh, well, uh, you, you're getting into perception and reality here as far as we know these two are lovers right this is, <laughs> this is oh, some sick dance that they do you know it's a, like he's like put on I show. Drive, this is this is this yeah is street she goes she takes a theater. right he goes straight they meet around the corner at the back of their apartment and they have crazy sex you know <laughs> they're like that was great the whole he was thing. speeding off to do an end around to the apartment that they were going to yes. go meet at yes. that's right this is like their that's weird hot. sick dance man but that is hot it, yeah because the he... only way that they can attempt get to off. reproduce
Yeah. And this is what they just are desperate to have a child. And nothing's working. And they're like, maybe if we maybe have if this I'm furious enough, and maybe if you're, dance, you know, right. Everything. Maybe if you seem privileged enough, and I'm and I seem sort of low class, and yes, yes, yeah. that's hot. Yeah, man, that's pretty hot. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty hot. Anyway, speaking of revenge, this episode. Yeah. Oh gosh. Go. Right. Are we talking about an episode today, Rob? That was a good story. Thanks for bringing it. Oh in. yeah. yeah well, thank I you. I came in hot. Coming in sure hot did. with that. Um, this leads right into my next possible structure idea, which is that people keep asking for us to do little like recaps of what the episode is about um, at the start, so we know which one we're talking about. Mm, so yeah. um, this segment is called "That Is What Happened." And it's just where I give like a short thing about like uh, what episode we're about to watch. Season four, episode eight, Patty's Pub, the worst bar in Philadelphia. <laughs> it aired on October 16th, 2008. <laughs> written by Scott Martyr and Rob Roselle and David Hornsby. Directed by Matt Shackman. In this episode, a newspaper reporter gives Patty's Pub a terrible review. So the gang kidnaps him in order to smooth things over. As one does. That is what happened. That, that is, what, is what happened. That is what happened. That is what happened. Yeah. Um, I have not seen this episode in ages. It's it's no recollection. Okay. I know he gets tied to a chair. <sighs> yeah, um, I, I remember very little. You know what? It's not such a big deal with short hair, but headphones on and off once the hair is longer. Well, know, it's yeah, either on it's or it's a, off. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Thing, I don't okay. know if this is sustainable once my hair once grows out. Once your hair grows out. What if you yeah. wear them? Under, what if, yeah, what if you wear or, or put them yeah, back? Yeah, then you do that. Or, or you, like go, that. you yeah. go like this. You know. Right. <laughs> the hair, or this. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That works. That works. Protect the hair at all costs. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, here we go. Just 442. 442. Oh, yeah. oh, it's incredibly oh, fancy thin. as hell. Yeah, it's thin, sure, but uh, wait. Actually, can we pause? I wonder if we did. I, I wonder if we did 442 because that's that's the time uh, that I was born on my birth certificate. I wonder if that had something. To, I mean, that can't be a coincidence, right? Yes. That's literally when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> was it the same day of the week? No, no. I'm just saying it was. It was at 442. No, whatever. <laughs> I was actually born at 420 on my uh, on my birth certificate. Oh, shit, bro. Shit, bro. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Logan man. <laughs> that's fucking cool, man. <laughs> oh, it's just right. so doggone thin. Oh, it's incredibly thin. <laughs> yeah, it's thin, sure, but uh, I gotta say, I don't care for it. Charlie, the thinner the TV, the better the TV. I mean, that's just straight up fact. <laughs> guys, 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 check it out. All right, well, view in the already <laughs> we're discussing the thinness of TVs as if it's kind of an, uh, like a... A new thing. A, a new what, thing. It was a new thing. It was a new it? thing. Was this a direct TV ad that you guys placed in? Because no. it says direct TV on the... It sure uh, does, yeah, doesn't it? I don't know what very that is. Prominently. Yeah, very sure, prominently. But... I didn't know if it was like a tie-in or something. You were it doing been, that may have been around the time that Fox bought Direct TV? You think they snuck I believe an Mr. ad in on Mr. it? Mr. Murdoch bought a uh, bought Direct TV, and they I... might have snuck that in. I don't know. Yeah, for the uh, for the listener and uh, creep, um, whenever you see a product on our show, uh, it's either because we got away with it, or we're not getting paid, but the network mm. is yeah. getting paid. So, just so we're clear, we're not getting paid <laughs> by Direct TV. No. No okay. sellouts. But we are getting paid by the network and studio, and they, the more money the show makes, the more money they're willing to pay us. Well, that's not even true. It's the no. more money that we are willing to negotiate for and threaten to quit over, and threaten which to quit we've over. done, oh, I don't know, a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Guys, 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 check it out. <laughs> We got a review in the paper. No read it, way. read it, read it, read Newspapers. it. Read a review. The first thing I yeah. noticed about Patty's Pub is its charm. All right, it's a good review. <laughs> okay. It has Sorry. none. It has none. Uh oh. Are you serious? <laughs> there was an ominous feeling that you could get stabbed at any moment. That's good, right? How was that good? That's the exact type of atmosphere I've been trying to cultivate. <laughs> but while danger Cultivate. may linger, I'm the level-headed bouncer that keeps violence in check, like Swayze and Roadhouse. What? The cooler. In we check, added a. Yeah. Many <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We had a debate about whether or not to add that swoosh. Uh, that remember. seems like something Glenn would want. Oh, there's a swoosh. That I would want. There's a swoosh. Um, yeah. I think we were all pretty much on the same page what, about that. I think we all kind of agreed. It's a little over the top, but it but made us all laugh. It's violence in check, like Swayze and Roadhouse. Oh, it's a little, uh, yeah. Or did, or did you think that my, my movement no, actually I just, made that I didn't sound? focus on it. <laughs> I think we debated more the volume of it. We're like, it's fine to have a thing in there, but how loud, right, how loud should it be? Should it be? Uh, Patrick Swayze and Roadhouse. Yes. 
R.I.P. Patrick Swayze. R.I.P. Too young. I've never seen Roadhouse. Is that like a favorite movie of you? Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, then we need to remedy that in studio. I I think a in-studio viewing of Roadhouse would be absolutely (laughs) phenomenal. 100%. I would be all in on that, man. I love that movie. And I haven't seen it in a long time. I have not seen that in... so good. Yeah. 20, 30 (laughs) years. I don't know. Yeah, it comes back again in this episode. I just too. remember there being doesn't they like the, there's like a band whenever the band plays they're like behind a cage. Yeah, are oh, they yeah. like <laughs> behind a cage? Well, because they play and the, the guy's blind, right? Yeah, yeah. Jeff Healy, it's a real band. Jeff Healy. Jeff Healy oh, band. right. Jeff. Yeah, right. How right. do I talk to an angel? And does he play behind a cage usually? <laughs> Not in real life. I don't. Think. I don't blind. You can't see the, when people are throwing fruits at him. We shouldn't cage the blind anymore. I think it's, <laughs> I just don't think it's right. Times have changed. Yeah, times. You know, well, think about to... thinking. You know, I mean, like usually you can hawk a you know, beer bottle on stage if you don't like right. an act. But if you're blind, you and can't. they can dodge it. Yeah, you can't dodge it. That's right. So you got to have the cage, Jeff. I, I think Jeff. Uh, Jeff has passed as well. Did Jeff pass? I think so. All right. Well, R.I.P. Jeff. R.I.P. Jeff. In check. There have been many stabbings. In yeah, I feel unsafe here every single day. Very I'm... often. Well, stabbings have been down, though. Have been down. <laughs> when I have ordered been down. a glass of wine, not only did the surly white trash waitress refuse to make it, but she proceeded to call me a word that I cannot print in this paper. Surly? I was forced to listen to the three classless boars who call themselves the owners <laughs> get drunk and yell over each other all okay, night. Okay, wait. Well, this is just us commenting on the show. <laughs> this, 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 yeah. this is basically <laughs> us. Us commenting on all the criticisms of the show. Yeah. It may have been what we took we took a review yeah. and just I don't changed think so. a couple I think of we things did. here and there now. I think I think the 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 sentiment we knew the sentiment existed out there in the world. I don't know how because we didn't have social media at the time, so we weren't looking at comments and stuff. But there were comments on like on IMDB. You could go to our yeah. IMDB page, remember, and you could and look they at that. They weren't wrong. I mean No, we, it is yeah. often that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, totally! Yelling over each other is it's just a matter of whether I find you like that. Very or entertaining. Yeah, that's my that's my style. I of think it's very charming. Okay, this one goes out to you, fantasy football fans, but not just any of you. I'm talking to the nerds. You know who you are. You who has this podcast on in the background as you sift through 30 tabs of research for your last minute draft. Don't panic and reach on a QB again this year. The first Sunday of the NFL season is here and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving new customers a can't miss offer to celebrate the return of football. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly. Basically, you can use your money to buy more money. Buying money these days? That's great. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code ALWAYS to get $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet on any football game. That's code ALWAYS, only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. That's always A-L-W-A-Y-S. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Today we are brought to you by our friends at Manscaped, the leader in below-the-waist grooming. We all know that being shaved and smooth is vital to peak confidence. Uh, There's a certain confidence that comes with being properly groomed down in your uh, Netherlands. It's an aura. It's It's a vibe. It's science. BGE. Big groomed energy. So how does one acquire BGE? We put our top minds on the case. And uh, so far, we've only found one way to retain a constant state of BGE. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0. It's a one-stop shop for men who deserve it all. They've designed this package to redesign your package so you walk around like you're Pete Davidson. So go ahead and join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SUNNY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code SUNNY. Unlock your big groomed energy with Manscaped. And remember, when you trim the hedges, the tree stands taller. Fisher Stevens. Mm -hmm. Hi, are you Mr. Lyle Corman? Yes, can I help you? Hello, oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. We're here from Patty's Club, yes. and we have come down to give okay, you the opportunity. Okay, hold on. So d- we talked about Matt a little bit, but uh, this is directed by Matt Shackman. Matt Shackman is one of the biggest directors in Hollywood right now. We're uh, talking I about know, Matt it's crazy. Lot. Yes, but he he signed on to do Fantastic Four. He might be directing the, the Fantastic Four movie, but I think he may have even dropped out he did. of that to do a bigger movie. No, no, no. He dropped out of Star Trek. 
Oh, he, he was signed on he, to do Star Trek, and he had to drop out because it it conflicted with Fab, Fantastic Four. I almost wow. said Fabulous Four. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, well, we the should, Fabulous we Four should, would be. We should potentially do a movie called The, the, the Fabulous, fabulous Four. <laughs> fabulous <laughs> four. <laughs> By the way, Fisher Stevens uh, is not only a great actor, has been around a long time, but a great producer as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. uh, produced yeah. many Docs, uh, amazing Docs. movies, Docs features. Yeah. Um, and in I, Succession. He's on yes, Succession. He's, on he's great on Succession. And I remember thinking it was like a big deal that he wanted to do the show. Like, did we... He certainly did an audition for it. We must have just reached out like... Uh, no, I think Wendy came to us and said Fisher had come in for something else and that he mentioned that he was a fan of Sonny. And oh, was, was that what it was? Yeah. yeah. And we liked and we liked him. Yeah, we, liked we thought... Him. I was psyched we got him. Oh my God, me too. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same. You know what, buddy? We will jam your asshole up with so many lawyers. <laughs> You won't know what to do with yourself. I'll have you know we have a team of lawyers on retainer just to deal with people like you. Really? Yeah. Well, check this out. <laughs> You're all out of time, bitch! Boom! You just got phased. This just in poo-poo pants. People don't read <laughs> newspapers anymore. Oh. <laughs> Pause. There you go, okay. Oh, poo-poo pants. This poo -poo just pants. in poo-poo pants. And <laughs> not, this is the second time that we've talked on this podcast or scene. Um, Someone deal with the situation by spitting. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're just dealing with animals. Mm -hmm. We're at, people are animals. It is uh, one of the ultimate signs of disrespect, isn't yeah. it? To spit in someone's food or their coffee or in their face or on their BMW. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. And by the way, kind of crazy to think that people aren't animals. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, they we're, are. We're all. Right, we are. That's true. We're, we're fighting all, it all the time. Right. Yeah. We're, we're ch when we don't spit, we're containing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're, yeah. We're keeping we should it. be lauded for not spitting yeah. more often. In fact, very few animals spit. Um, camels, you know. <laughs> yeah. Those <laughs> sons of a nasty son Camels of just fucking spitting motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking camels. And another thing about camels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's with the water? Give me start on the camels. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> How do they get the water in that hump? You know what I mean? All right, let's How go. How do they get all that milk in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's like less than 20 seconds from you saying we're not white trash to breaking his clock, That's right. spitting in his yeah, coffee yeah, cup. Yeah. You timed it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. That's the so joke. Yeah. Yeah, 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 joke. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys want to see something? What? <laughs> I did something. <laughs> the old Holy reservoir shit. dogs. Yeah. yeah. Did you me? I don't really know what happened, okay? First I was angry, then I was drinking. Next thing I know, I'm following this guy home and forcing him into the trunk of his own car. <laughs> Christ, this is bad. <laughs> really bad. Don't panic. Don't panic. Rox, <laughs> we're really sorry about this, Mr. Corman. It's not a kidnapping, so. Oh, God damn it. I, will you I just so so I, I'm sure people have noticed this before, but that curb is just so, so absurdly yeah. high. That's yeah, it's it. a yeah. wonder they ha that they haven't somebody hasn't sued the city over that. Uh, people, people have sued the city over way dumber shit mm -hmm. than that, which is actually very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. You see us like Danny. Can, I mean, we need to get him like a step stool to get up on that that fucking thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, chopper him in and out of the. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is the curb Carrying him high, like a wrecking ball, or is, is the, the street, street low? low? It's a good question because it's, yeah. uh, I think curb maybe it's a combo of, of both. It's yeah. a it's a very strange. They figure it out on most streets, though. You know what I mean? They figured out how to not have the curb be too high. I mean, that's ridiculous. I've never seen that anything like that anywhere else other than here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's part of the charm, the uniqueness it of the is, uh, isn't of it? The show. Yeah. Okay, I think we're all on the same page. This is not a kidnapping. No. No. Okay. All right. Well, we do need to keep him here for a couple of hours so he doesn't do anything rash. Like, borrowing go to the police. Let, that being okay. said, let's take a few We're precautions here. Okay? We need to cover our tracks. Okay, you know, why don't we shoot over to Corman's place and make sure that Charlie left without a trace? Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Fancy Pants writer, man. <laughs> I was thinking maybe you Kathy could write Bates? a new review, you know? And this time, <laughs> maybe add a few yeah. less lies. How can I write a new review if I am taped to a chair? Come on, man. See, he's twisting everything I say around. He's making me look like an okay, asshole. Look, look, nobody has to write anything against their will, okay? Thank you. I have to go to the bathroom. Huh? I have to pee. Okay, sidebar. Bro. I, don't, I don't really remember any of this I don't episode. Remember this episode yeah, like, at I, all. yeah, little pieces, but yeah. yeah I remember yeah. Uh, Friends of Corman, which is about to come up right here. Oh, yeah. oh when the neighbor comes yeah, in? Comes I don't in. remember that. Friends of Corman. Yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Yeah, that was that. funny. That did not sound like Corman. Mm -mm. Who are you people? 
Friends with Gorman. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Gorman lives across the hall. Oh, does he? Does he? <laughs> Where is he? This is I remember ridiculous. that at all. So you guys I got really the wrong have... apartment. Yeah, got the wrong apartment. Yeah. Now the roommate. Now there's two. Now there's two kidnapped parties. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we don't know that yet, but yeah, yeah. <clears throat> It's called uh, you can see the writing escalation. On the wall. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. classic escalation. Mm -hmm. Now back to the cooler conversation that we were having earlier. I feel like in your article you missed an opportunity to mention my bouncing abilities. Okay, now it's really more about smarts than anything else. For example, if there was an altercation in this bathroom, I would blast in looking to neutralize. Yeah. Now I would check out my environment and I would look to see if there's anything that I could use to my advantage, like this pool cue. Here we go. <laughs> So earlier in the show, we have we put in the sound effect of my hand whipping through, and that just happened naturally. And then here, I'm adding it. You're doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is that what the... I don't think I ever knew that. I always thought you were going... Because you were doing the, the... You were doing like breaths. You were making the sound, sound effect? The sound that the... Dude, that I thing. never wow. knew that. I am learning that right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was like, it was like a, like you were some kind of a breathing technique thing. No, no, I was doing the sound effects for the... Holy shit. What, is, <laughs> did you know that? Am I an idiot? No, I probably thought of it as like, just like a, yeah, like a breathing thing. <laughs> that's so interesting. Wow. I can't, that's, hey, listen. <laughs> we're learning. You know? Hey, that's you one of the beautiful you, things. You picture dogs to poop. Yeah. And I learned that. Oh, by the way, I did that this morning. For the first time in a very long time, I, I did that this morning. And and you know what? To answer your earlier question about what kind of dog, it was it was like a, I'd say around a 30 pound dog. It was white for some reason. It was definitely, you know, in that position. Uh, it's just, just a mutt, you know what I mean? But it was white. Good. It's like a white dog, yeah. Good, yeah, because yeah. the, the <clears throat> juxtaposition against the brown poop really helps you see it. <laughs> I think that's right. You need I the contrast. I think that's why, yeah. yeah. Does yeah, this yeah, dog yeah. have a name? No, the dog doesn't have a name as far as I know. I mean, I'm sure he does, but- Squirt. Is he in a field? Is it a she, a he, or what are we talking about? It's not that specific of a conjuring. Okay. Okay. It's, conjuring. Just, it's not that specific. It's just a medium-sized white dog. That's right. Yes. And he's sort of floating in space in my mind. You know, I, <laughs> sure, sure. He's I not, mean, he's not. And it he's worked. And it did work, though. Well, you know, I, I think it was like one of those things where like it, I, I, I just remembered our conversation about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I, I just pictured it, but I, I don't know that I really needed it. I just, it just kind of happened. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. It's fired in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and normally that wouldn't happen unless I wanted it to. Because I can fire right in your chest. Because I got the skills to do that. Dude, there's like no tape anywhere. All I can scrounge up is a it's bandana. Funny. No, that's too small. Oh, I can wear it though. Uh, I should wear it. I know, but I found it, so I sort of feel like. <laughs> no, I appreciate you looking for me and finding it no, for me and doing the Charlie. Work. It immediately it becoming about yeah, who, yeah, gets yeah, yeah. who gets to wear That's it. That's not even why you brought it in there. That's very our show. <laughs> <laughs> why you brought it yeah, in I brought it in to tie, to tie his hands up. up, but now we want, who wants to wear it to look cool? Yeah. Now, now that you know that wearing it is an option. You, you <laughs> yeah. <want to>, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's wrong. Now it's wrong. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Just please get me out of this bathroom before I vomit. It is absolutely disgusting. Well, excuse me, Mr. Man. So again, the cat, little Kathy Bates in uh, what's the name of that movie? Um, misery. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. little Kathy Bates in Misery. Mr. Mr. Man. Man. Very hard cleaning it. In fact, it's so clean, I would say you could eat out of these urinals. No, you absolutely oh, no, cannot God. eat out of these <laughs> Oh, really? What's this? Charlie, don't. Char oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, I remember what, what that was that he was eating. Rice cake. No. No, no. Do you remember? Hickama. Re yes, hickama. Hickama. Yeah. It was hickama. Blue hickama. Blue hickama. Yeah, blue dyed nice. hickama. Yeah. Because it had that, it had the the texture yeah, the crunch, and quality the and the yeah. crunch. Nice. Mm -hmm. It was sitting in a urinal. In a, but, yeah, I was gonna say. Well, but puck. it's a fake urinal. No, nobody has ever peed in that. Well, we don't know that for sure. We don't well, know that. Man. We don't know where we it was sourced. Yeah, where did they source yeah. this thing? Yeah, that might. It looks like a public park. It probably came from a public park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of us is gonna have to help his. Whoa, dude! I'm not touching his dick. Well, Charlie, you're the one that used all the tape. Well, I was comfortable with letting him piss in his pants. Well, all right, fine. Then compromise. We'll both do it. That way it's equally weird for both of us. Please do it. No, oh no. No, no! Okay, he's, he's great in this. 
<laughs> Everyone's traumatized. Did he get a little bit hard oh, on us? Can we not on, talk about I just this, felt like please. he got a little no, bit. It, it was very no, weird. Was was the the Why did it move? Hey guys. Why did it move? We got a problem. Oh, oh man. man. What happened, dude? Well, there was a slight <laughs> mix-up with the apartments. This is Corman's neighbor, Mayhart. What happened to doing this without a trace? Well, it, it's a long story, but the punchline is that he started asking questions. The punchline. <laughs> Shut up. Well, you asked a lot of questions. All right, well, let's not have him ask more questions, okay? Let's yeah. just keep him in the trunk for you now. You can't kidnap more people to cover up the original kidnapping. It's a classic mistake. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know there was a handbook right. on kidnapping. Right. Jesus. We gotta get him inside. He's probably very hot in there. Right, there's okay. another bit of an issue, which is that I locked the keys in the trunk just now. What? Yeah. Are what? you kidding me? Oh my god. Well, I didn't want to bring that up. God damn it, Charlie! Okay, this is what we're gonna do. You guys deal with the situation out here. Okay, let's go talk to Corman. He's writing that new review. Okay, yeah. because I don't want to see that man right no, now. No, we, we don't we really want to deal with him anymore. What happened? Uh, Something happened, none of your business. Yeah, <laughs> he had a thing amongst the <laughs> guys. Stop let's just go inside. Can you just please, guys? Please. You have to hike up your pants. Watch this. To yeah, get oh, over oh, this yeah. curve, you have to hike up your jeans because you can't get a stretch. Yeah, I can't this. get enough. Yeah, the jeans didn't have as much stretch back then. <laughs> you gave them a little tug. Yeah, they weren't, they made them I harder. also had to angle my knee yeah. inward yeah. To, to in get order up to get up there. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It's boy, a high you got to stretch your it's hips out. Step. God, you guys remember jeans with no stretch? Fuck that. They look, they look pretty loose, buddy. Damn it, dude. I feel like this should be oh, easier. Yeah. People Here break we go. into cars all the time. You know, a piece of me wants to chalk this whole guy in the trunk thing up to a loss right now, dude. No! <laughs> we can't do that, bro. We gotta get him out of the car. Well, then why don't you just let me take the hammer and smash the window and we'll just pop the trunk? Charlie, if we were gonna smash the window, I would simply do it with a roundhouse kick. Well, oh, come on, dude. God. You're not gonna break this window with a roundhouse kick. Let's get serious here. <laughs> Charlie, I've never been more serious about anything in my entire life. <laughs> I wasn't calibrating that well, great. Well. This mirror, bro. Oh, man. Take one karate class <laughs> if you're so into karate, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that is a really, I mean, really that, nice set. Uh, you saying that almost makes me feel like maybe we did we did have earlier references to it. I mean, I don't know. Oh, or maybe sure. it's just you're just referencing the number of times he's insisting think, on I, it in this. I think it's come up before him with karate. I mean, he did. The, the karate first, But dancing. the first time he ever did that was in the dancing, right? Was that? Uh-huh in the dancing episode and he doesn't talk about being a karate master or anything that's true i don't know okay. he's super into it in this episode so maybe did you guys have like a bible that you wrote about your characters and stuff or of anything course. Oh, of course <laughs> extensive oh, yeah no 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 yeah, but yeah, very okay. tolkien-esque you know sort of yeah, like right. a whole family tree mm -hmm. like the whole yeah yeah yeah, yeah. about absolutely. mac being gay but it yeah, wouldn't yeah. come well, out we, we would reveal that much sure. later oh absolutely oh yeah. yeah i mean listen we're the after we finish with it's always sunny in philadelphia we're going to do a game of thrones thing go back go back to yeah, like there's a prequel frank was a and kid. a pre-prequel sure yeah it's a good idea Hey man, do you see any hypodermic needles laying around? What the hell is that? Mayhar's cat, diabetic. <laughs> now a diabetic cat is yeah. in play? Jesus, we can't catch a break. I know, nice tell me about it. Nice and easy now. Oh, Jesus Christ, Charlie, you yeah. broke the window? Dude, the guy had to take a dump, what was I supposed to do? Uh, Wait, but he's all tied up, how did you? Let's how not talk you... about how it happened, okay? It just happened, give him his cat. Dude, your cat's freaking That's out. That's not my cat. No, oh D, my God. No, whoa, 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 what the <laughs> hell are you doing, D? What's, what's Mayhar doing here? What are you doing with my cat? <laughs> your cat, this is your... Yes. Jesus Christ. What is going Mr. on? Mr. Corman, why are they doing this? Mr. Corman, why are they doing this? Get him back this? in the office. Jesus Christ, man. We'll look at the other room. Another cat actor. How yeah. is it to work with cats? This is the second one, I think, after uh, Agent Jack. Cats are kind of a pain to work with. Like, we're cats dog, are a little tougher. Yeah, dogs, like, uh, obeys rules better. Cat, cats, like, They, they uh, do it better, but let's be, let's be honest. I've met people who have trained their dogs just to be around the house, how they want them to behave around the house, a thousand times better than any animal trainer we have ever, I have <laughs> ever worked with, who can't ever get the dog to do anything it's astounding to me sometimes, it's astounding to me sometimes. how little the people who are hired to train dogs for film and television seem to you know, i'm disparaging these people but get it together for christ's sake so I... we need a dog trainer trainer you, you need, need to train a dog, trainers, need a dog yeah. trainer trainer i don't know man sometimes you see those dogs they like ring a bell if I open a door read a book <laughs> until you call Jeez. action yeah until you call action then they... <laughs> Yeah. Then all of a sudden they're the they're dumbest like, fucking dogs on the planet. He just wants the treat. I did a thing with a bear once, with a bear where 
they just had like a little orange wire that was supposed to be like an electric wire. They're like, so the bear won't go past this wire. And you're like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I think the bear would if it if it really wants to. It yeah. might be like, ow, that fucking wire hurt. And now I'm really pissed. Well, and I'm just someone. gonna maul I'm everybody. Gonna kill, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill everybody. Whoever I don't know who was responsible for that wire, know, who, so I'm just gonna yeah. maul everyone in sight. <laughs> Okay, creeps and listeners, it is your favorite time of the week. That's right, the ads. Oh, man, and this week, guess who we're brought to you by? Guess who? Is it Shopify? It's Shopify. It's Shopify. It's Shopify. Guys, Shopify, man. Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved for big businesses. You know, so upstarts, startups, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize online and in-person sales, and effortlessly stay informed because success is a million milestones on a forever evolving path. Right, that's right, the American dream. Reaching that picture perfect zenith in life usually takes a considerable amount of effort in labor and gain. Well, that's where Shopify comes in. It, it powers millions of businesses from first sale to full scale. Now that sounds like possibility to me. It sounds like success. So guys, go to shopify.com slash sunny, all lowercase, for a free 14 day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash sunny right now. That's shopify.com slash sunny. Whoa, hold on there, Simon. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Hey, buddy. I'm not going very fast. Yes. If he had those slidey chairs that we have, he could have just... He could have slid right... Slid right out. Yeah. 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 straight out. Yeah. Yeah. straight out there. We are willing to not force you to write that review if you are willing to step up, do the right thing, and not tell anybody that this happened. I don't care. Whatever it takes to get me out of this bar, away from you people. My man. Go. That is the attitude we've been so waiting for. That's right, man. Where's this guy been? Now, we won't charge you for the duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> That was a joke. Oh, 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 I really don't like this guy. You're an idiot. Well, we'll see who's the idiot when he wakes up tomorrow and doesn't remember a thing. I don't think that's how it works, it's Charlie. It's definitely not how it oh, works, man. Oh, my God. Well, we may as well embrace the amnesia angle because we have no other well, options now. at this point. Okay. I'll go get yesterday's newspaper. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, uh, three. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'll take <laughs> We've already moved past it. To be my sunshine it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. That's pretty good. No? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. I love this episode. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. I'm going to say that um, out of the episodes we've seen so far, how many have we done? About 40 something, 42. Yeah. Uh, that's in my top 10. Really? I oh. love that episode. I thought that was great. Was it because there was no Danny in it? No, but I oh, will say. I didn't even notice I will that. say yeah, that not no having to facilitate a, f a fifth character. Well, we, we did because we had Corman in there. But I will say that. Uh, it does make it a little bit easier to tell more story. Um, I miss Danny in it, but I feel like it's still it's it's one of my it's one of my favorites. It's not one of my favorites, but I don't know. I can't pinpoint why. Maybe you're missing Danny. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, so, something feels just like a little a little flat. But I don't know. It's not bad. I laughed a lot. So yeah, and that's what you know. That's the goal, right? You make something people laugh at it a lot, and uh, that's the goal. And that's the goal. Uh, how are you guys feeling so far? Like about... feeling about <laughs> about 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 um I, I, I'm, I'm about the rewatch. Like, are you guys you're enjoying this? Generally speaking, you're are oh, you, you looking mean... back on the old episodes and thinking like, yeah, or are you looking back on the old episodes for the most part and being like. Mm. You know, like what's your general feel? Like the, the, it seems like the consensus is we're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Oh, me too. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, very proud of the show. And it's nice to go back and feel like the episodes, even the ones that you think like were misses, aren't as much of a miss as you felt mm -hmm. like they were. I'm excited to get to the ones that I know for a fact that fans hate that we love. Oh, yeah. I think that'll be fun. Like like Liberty, Liberty Bell, Bell and yeah. uh, Frank's brother. Yeah. 
Yeah. Here's a good question because this whole episode is about like um, reviews, criticism, and stuff. Do you guys take any of that personally when people like do rankings of the episodes or criticize the show or any reviews coming out back then? Like, was this episode, was the idea for this episode to like go right at criticism in general? I don't take like uh, other like people's. Uh, um, it's more my own criticism, right? Like if I feel like we're in the editing room and I feel like ah, this one missed the mark, I, I like I I beat myself up, man. Mm-hmm. Um, that that like hits the hardest, you know, because mm-hmm. just you know I want them to all be great. I don't know. I, I'm sure you guys feel the same, but. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we've touched on this a little bit, but uh, I, I think if the, you know, if the majority of people like really dislike something, it definitely bothers me. Well, I'm hoping that um, you guys are driven by it in terms of this is actually one of the segments I'd like to add to the show, which is who are we doing it versus, which I thought might be good if every episode we find somebody for you guys to do the podcast against. Mm-hmm. Um, and for this episode, I thought we could do it against negative comments that we've received about the podcast, which I have in this coffee cup. <laughs> if you guys wanted to pull any out and yeah, read yeah, some yeah, yeah, negative yeah, yeah, yeah. criticisms, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, why do you want? You want to just grab a handful of those? Or, yeah, oh no, just, you're going to take the whole thing out randomly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. and then you guys can read some some mean things that people have said about this podcast. Now, they have gone to our pages in order to um, say these things to lodge these complaints. Yeah, so they, 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 um, they want these. Well, they're getting exactly what they want right now which I, ha- I have to say is a is one yeah. reason not to do this yeah, but you, you know, know what also fuck everybody so <laughs> yeah. it could be fun great to see the real tired and <laughs> grumpy actors behind <laughs> 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 behind these attractive and polished characters sure some of the whitest shit i'm gonna see today <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I mean, that's that's encouraging. That's about right. That's pretty white. Yeah. Doesn't get, it doesn't get much whiter. I, I think doesn't that get was much when we were doing this bit. I think oh, that, that you know, specifically. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it was to that. that. Megan, this one's anti you. Do you want to hear? Yeah, it? great. Let's do it. <laughs> anti you. Please anti-you. give Megan uh, her own Always Sunny podcast, so she isn't on this one. So they still want it to be a Sunny <laughs> podcast. Just can to you, be clear, can you imagine me running my own Sunny podcast separately yeah. from you guys? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, just like yeah. dropping off. I don't know. Maybe we should consider it. Wow, this podcast has gotten so lazy so fast. They pretty quickly went all Zoom, even though they said they had a studio. And now Glenn just doesn't seem to doesn't even Glenn just doesn't even bother. <laughs> Soon it will be uh, it will just be Megan talking by herself. <laughs> well, to be fair, they they were right. There was a period in which we all had to go on Zoom because we were all working. You didn't show up for like two or three episodes, and then we were just carrying the weight. Mac out here looking like a young Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> oh. I think with the buzz hair. <laughs> with I the think what? With the buzz hair. When you yeah, the buzz I hair. see it. I see it a little what? bit. Yeah, I don't see that at all. I see. No, it's she's right. It's the hair. I think it was. It's the, the hair, but also the face. <laughs> a young Gilbert Gottfried. That's that's, not this. I am a young Gilbert. Has Godfrey. Gilbert got what? Was Gilbert Gottfried ever young? <laughs> yeah. I wonder why all three of their postures are overly feminine. <laughs> Must be something that naturally happens after living in Hollywood after all those years. What, what the hell? What, what is a feminine <laughs> I like how you, I like how the two how of are you, even talking Charlie, about? to move it all. The two of you just like. <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about. What are they? What? I have no idea. Seriously, what? Seriously, what are they referring to? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <I'm> shocked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't like understand it at all. <laughs> this one makes no fucking sense. I don't like condescending people two episodes in a row. I've had rudeness at the beginning of it feeling directed towards me. The I'm not your mother. I know how to count, dude. I love the show lots, but having a woman belittle me at the beginning of it is not a good feeling. That's because what? Yeah. I put a little message at the huh? beginning of one of the podcasts saying, um, you know, we sh- for the dance episode, you should watch this on YouTube because it's really visual. And then I did one to explain why we skipped Mac and Charlie Die Parts 1 and 2. And uh, and people thought I was being condescending. No, 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 no. You said something very funny. You said, um, if you want, this would be a, a more visual episode. Yeah. So you should, if you, a listener could turn into a creep for an episode. So you should maybe watch it or don't. We don't. I don't care. I'm not your mom. I'm not your mom, yeah. And if somebody doesn't get that joke, they can fuck all the way off and stop <laughs> yeah, yeah, watching yeah. altogether. Seriously, dude. Like, like, seriously, man, like, shut the fuck up yeah, oh and stop God. and turn off your podcast machine. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Turn off everything. And also, how about you? 
Uh, I love you, but I don't want to be called creeps. Can we not do that? It's a very sinister word for people who adore you. Fuck off. Turn it off, <laughs> creep. What creep, a creep, creepy creep, creep, thing creep, to say. What a creepy thing what for that creep to say. What a creepy thing to put some creep in there and creep on you like that. Um, yeah. Let, that leads me to believe that you don't understand what the television show is. I, yeah. I think it's so funny that this person doesn't like having a woman belittle them. So they'd be fine if we belittled them. Mm -hmm. Yes. They'd love that. That's misogyny. Well, they might have had a really fucking misogyny. shitty yeah. mom and it's just bringing up, sure. you know. This podcast makes me feel uncomfortable because <laughs> at some point I've seen all of their ankles. <laughs> that's great. Well, come on. That's someone that's being funny. funny. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, yeah. That's, that's funny. That's, not that's funny. Crazy, I get that. I wonder if we should do a whole episode where we have no shoes on. Really Ooh. freak people out. Well, that would really turn some. That people might on actually too. spike in the end. Well, if Me you know what, if Meg did one with no shoes on, that would yeah. spike the internet. Oh yeah, that's true. All these you, should, you should literally I put like hair on them, seven like hobbit feet. Doing the play. <laughs> and and this guy comes in, and oh, you're taking all the photos. Yeah, yeah, this guy comes in to take photos. Wait, what? You, what? Years ago, like starting out, Meryl did some play mm -hmm. downtown, like, uh, and some guy comes in, he and he talking to this actress and it wasn't Mary Elizabeth but it was the other woman in the play and he said he was like with the LA Times he was he's like I'll take some pictures for the article and he's like you know what um get comfortable kick your shoes off and she's like oh, okay and he's taking pictures oh, and God. then he starts taking pictures of her feet and, and she's like oh, what's what's this she's like no I'm just I'm getting a variety of things and then someone like shushes him out of the theater he's like yo get out of here and he like scrambles out he's like I'm so sorry that guy comes in and takes pictures pictures of all the actresses feet <laughs> And he always pretends he's like, from, I was like, what an amazing, <laughs> what a life, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a life to just be like, yeah. all right, okay, here comes another show. <laughs> where's my camera? Where's my camera? Where's the film? Marty, where's the film? He's, he's got, got an assistant. Oh, he's got, yeah. Yeah. He's got an accomplice. <laughs> all right, all right. Do I look like a reporter? How do I look? All right, let's go, 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 go. But but how nice to know your thing so clearly. Sure. It's like yeah. I'm just, sure. this is what I'm gonna do. This is my whole mm -hmm. life's purpose is get a pictures of actresses. Yeah, and, feet. And, and I would say there's enough pictures of people's feet, I'm sure, on the internet, but uh you know, but this guy, that's not enough for him. He needs to be no, the one. No, it's the thrill of that I've scammed you yes. into you've given them to me. Foot. Yes, you've shown. Because otherwise, to me. just hang out at the beach with a really long lens camera, and you're just, <laughs> you yeah. know, you're just fucking scoring all day, man. baby. Just fucking feed everyone. <laughs> no, you need to take. <laughs> you don't need a cover story or anything. You no, know? Make your feet all over this beach. You see this shit? Ah, uh, God, but I didn't talk him into it. So I okay, don't do nothing for me. You know, I got to talk yeah. him into. I need to manipulate you know, him into so it. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna shoe store, man. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, oh my God. Oh, that's overloaded. I do, but yeah. you guys know I have freakishly long toes. <laughs> so I, I think it's going to freak let, people out. out. Yeah. My <laughs> middle toe is as long as my yeah. pinky finger. No way. I, He's measured. Uh, no, I promise you. It's your my... nipples are the sizes of dimes, and your <laughs> and your pink, your middle toe is. I've got this toes. This is not the handwork of the gods. This is I've got weird. toes like fingers, man. It's fucking weird. Yeah. How many knuckles? Can you toe? open a is jar of peanut butter with your foot? I can't. But they barely move. They're like just. They're like I don't know. They're like fucking paralyzed. That my feet, they don't, they they don't. It's it's weird. Well, that brings us to our final segment, which is, um, did we do it? Which is where we discuss whether or not we did it. I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Felt good. I felt we came in hot and funny, and we end funny. And what more can you want? I, I can come in hot again. Either I, guys, I went to France. I like. Uh Oh, okay. I so, have all right, so, so hold on a second. For those who aren't completely <laughs> and totally up to speed on this, for the listeners in the We should pick it up next episode because, buddy. You know, it's a whole thing. You know, in anticipation of this next episode, because I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this, Rob. Um, there was a, a, a time where you came in hot about, about French people and how... Um, Recognizing that it was ridiculous and unfair to take an entire country yes, and whittle and them down to a stereotype. You were being funny, but you were, you know, disparaging the French in some ways. And uh, and then you had an, a couple of encounters with some French people that made you go, you know what? I, that's just me disparaging an entire country. That's sure. bullshit. I, I've I just met a bunch of really great French people. And then you went to France. Yeah. And I'll leave it at that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so we won't. Thank so we're going to find out when he went to the country. Yeah. Where these people are all over the place. Well, it's their country. Yeah. Yeah. They're French. Yes. <laughs> Final reviews of the table too. Good. Love the like table. Like the table. Um, I'm well, sure because well, you wrong. changed things yeah. up and you're a woman and you made the, the decision people will hate it. Yeah. Pound table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could use a lumbar pillow. <laughs> <laughs> 